When quarrying ended here in 1829, rain, runoff, and springs on the quarry floor quickly filled the pit with water. Until the mid-19th century, quarrymen kept their working area dry by removing water by hand, a bucket at a time, or by harnessing a team of oxen to a winch. Some quarries installed wind-powered pumps, but by the 1860s, most used steam engines running day and night to remove water. At its deepest point, the Babson Farm Quarry is about 60 feet deep. Cape Ann granite weighs 168 pounds per cubic foot. Moving stone from the floor of the quarry to the surface posed a major challenge to 19th century technology. Borrowing techniques that were used on large sailing ships, quarrymen devised an arrangement of blocks and tackles and pulleys, called a derrick, to hoist the heavy stones. Each derrick had a tall vertical post called a mast and a horizontal arm called a boom. Before steam engines became available in the 1860s, derricks were powered by hand or by teams of oxen. Steam engines made it possible to hoist and move larger blocks of granite from the quarry floor. 